Hello, and welcome to this third producer's notes for DCS Black Shark. In this note, we're going to take a look at a, uh, a rolling takeoff, followed by some just basic maneuvers around the airfield. Uh, then after that, we'll go ahead and land over uh, on the parking apron. Now, unfortunately, in uh, this uh, beta build here, the uh, track file system is a bit on the fritz. So uh, we're going to be keeping the view to uh, just in the cockpit here. Um, also, as you're about to see, I'm probably about the worst uh, simulator helicopter pilot there is in the world, so um, I hope you'll excuse some of my really bad uh, piloting skills. Anyhow, with uh, no further ado, we'll go ahead and take off. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and put the cycle forward, increase collective, and use the rudder to keep me uh, down the runway. And lift off. Go ahead and uh, clean up the gear. Okay, now as I'm going forward here, uh, first thing I'll do is I'll demonstrate the Black Shark's ability for side slipping. So I'm going to get my speed a little slower by pitching up and controlling my altitude with the collective. And you'll notice on the HUD now, I got a line from the center of the HUD and that indicates my um, direction of flight. The longer it is, the faster I'm going, with the max length equating to uh, 50 kph. So I'm going to kick over some rudder, cycle to the right, and I'm now heading down the runway sideways. And we'll go the other way. And it's a handy little function when you're uh, moving from one space to another or tracking a target. Anyhow, we'll uh, get some speed going here. Pitching forward, increasing collective. And I want to get a speed up about uh, 200 kph here. And what I'm going to do is then I'm going to initiate a uh, turn reverse. So about 200, and I'm going to pitch up to about 45 degrees. And when my speed gets down to about 70 knots, I'm going to kick in the rudder, a little cyclic, reverse the rudder, and now I'm going back the other way. And as I'm descending here, I'm getting uh, a lot more speed build up. Uh, max speed um, is about 300 uh, kph, and I'll start getting some warnings, which I'm getting close to. And at this point, I'll go ahead and do a uh, climbing turn. Going back the other way now. So now I'm established about uh, 80 kph, uh, going through about 700 meters. Now I'm going to descend down. So I'm going to close out the collective, pitch down. And again, I want to be careful not to get my speed too high. And as I start the bottom out, I'll go ahead and do a hard turn to the left. And now I'm going to go ahead and kill off some of the speed by again pitching up and reducing collective. Now 
one thing you have to be careful is not to let your sink rate to get too high, or you definitely will enter a vortex ring state. Okay, they'll come in for a landing now. And I'll drop the gear down. And open the door. And one of the handy features of the Black Shark here is the auto hover capability. So once I get the speed you know, pretty slow, maybe around uh, 15 or 20 kph, I'll go ahead and initiate that. And it looks good. And the uh, circle on the HUD, that represents your hover point and the little square represents your deviation from that. So I'm pretty close there. Um, airspeed's just about zeroed out and I'm 10 meters over the tarmac. So now um, I'll go ahead and slowly decrease the collective to land. And we are down. So uh, that's a little uh, overview of a rolling takeoff, uh, the very basics of maneuvers, and a landing uh, using the hover mode. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.